right, from Wimbledon, uh, there's a new queen of the grass courts today. Christina McFarland is in London for us. So, oh, tell us more about Eugenia Bouchard making history today for O Canada. <laughs> That's right, Frederica. It's been a truly thrilling women's final here today with two very different finalists. Petra Kvitova, who won the title here back in 2011. She's had to go through some really tricky matches over the past fortnight. She defeated Venus Williams back in the third round here, and she was up against the young 20-year-old Canadian Eugenie Bouchard, who was after her first ever Grand Slam win. But it wasn't to be for her today because Petra Kvitova just blew through her this afternoon in, in straight set 6-3, six, 6 love in what was in fact the fastest ever Wimbledon final to have been held here since Martina Navratilova won 31 years ago, which you know is quite fitting in fact because uh, Navratilova is in fact a huge idol of Kvitova's and a, a, a big inspiration to her growing up. And Martina was actually on court here today to watch Kvitova win her second title. I spoke to Kvitova just a short while ago and she told me that it felt like magic out there on the surface for her today and she just couldn't believe some of the shots she was making. And I tell you, we couldn't believe it either. It really was uh, a very quick and very powerful final from her today. Oh, well, fantastic. So, um, you know, not to, uh, you know, take away from the shine of this moment for uh, Eugenia, but I gotta ask you about Serena because, you know, Serena and Venus are also queens of that court um, many times over, but earlier in the week, Serena had quite the health scare. Is there any update on, you know, her situation, why she got dizzy or lightheaded or was, you know, kind of missing, you know, in the timing of her swing? Yeah, well, as you know, earlier this week, we heard that she was suffering from a viral infection. There's been a lot of speculation in the par past couple of days but no one has actually come out and confirmed if anything mm. different has, has happened since then, if anything has moved on. Actually, Martina Navratilova has come out and said that she thinks it wasn't just a viral infection, given the way that Serena was behaving on court. But lots of questions being asked as to why Serena was even allowed to go out and play, mm. given her condition. We know that she's now home and she's still poorly. Uh, but uh, but we, we're not entirely certain if, and there's been no word from the Williams camp, just yet if the condition has worsened or if it, if it is indeed just still a viral infection. So mm -hmm. some concern, but she has said that she looks forward to being back here at Wimbledon next year. So uh, mm -hmm. we, we hope very much to see the world number one back and fighting fit.